Say good morning. I'm fussy today. I'm fussy today. It's about 8.45 today. And I am staying home from work today because I've got dinner with Ina Mae tonight. And then I'm working her event all day tomorrow. My hood rat son. Um... Anyway, so I wanted to spend some time with the kids before I have to leave <laughs> tomorrow. And Violet isn't faring very well, so she's fussy. Anyway, see you on the Somebody is not very happy today. Not at all. Violet, are you sad? Yeah. I know you didn't just say yeah, but it sounded like it. Yes. So now I'm going to get the other kids some well, cereal. Okay, let's eat cereal first, okay? Okay, look. This is from Cece's. Uh-oh, your sister's going to get it. Put it on the counter, please. Guys, this is from Cece's, Mommy. This is... Awesome. Maybe being home today will give me a chance to catch up on this messy house. Cereal? Well, you want bee cereal? Okay. Let's get them. Are you happy, girl? You happy, girl? You got cantaloupe? You can't eat cereal with your teeth in your mouth. What's wrong? Paisley is a sad girl this morning, too. What's wrong? What happened? I do it. You want different cereal? <laughs> what happened? What's wrong with yours? It's different than mine. If I can ever get everybody happy, I'm going to do the dishes. Do and if I can't, well, then we'll just roll with it. I think Violet really doesn't feel good. She didn't eat barely anything. Uh, Poor baby. Uh, uh, We're going to go suck her nose. Okay, so it's 10.20. And we've eaten cereal. I did the dishes. Uh, wiped down the table in the high chair. Paisley's been playing with some Mundo. Carson's been playing PlayStation 3. And now I'm getting ready to lay Violet down for a nap. And Carson and Paisley... We're going to hang out until I get done with that, and then we're going to um, clean up together. So, see you in a second. It's 11.20, and Violet is still sleeping. Paisley's dressed. Carson's dressed. I just need to take a shower real quick. And then we're going to go. Um, I'm getting sliced. Um... Are you a zombie? Zombies can't use weapons. Uh, that I'm not in the house of the dead. This is a zombie that was like this in the house of the dead. Where it goes slices of hot. Wow. Um, anyways, so I'm just going to wait for Violet to wake up and then I'm going to jump in the shower. Um, she sleeps in our bed, so I don't just want to like get in the shower and... Ever try to get up out of bed if I'm in it. So, oh. anyway, yeah, as soon as Violet gets up, I'm going to jump in the shower really fast. Disgusting. Um, get me and Violet dressed. I'm shoot his teeth. Gonna shoot him. And uh, then we're going to go. Okay, so the girls are out here watching Phonics. And Carson's in my room watching Johnny Test. And I'm going to jump in the shower really fast. It's 11.51, so hopefully I can get it in super quick and we can go eat lunch. All right. So blow dry my well no I have not blow dried my hair I'm about to go blow dry my hair God what a ding bat sometimes I am hi yeah yeah 
And then we're gonna load up, go eat lunch, and go see a movie, huh? Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. So someone asked me um, the other day what happened to our other car, and we got. I mean, Violet. Goodness, scare me. <laughs> um, <laughs> we got rid of it to get my husband's truck, and so we still have um, my blue car right there. Um, it's the brakes need fixed, and it's actually for sale. Otherwise, it works fine. Um, and then we're driving my mother-in-law's excavation just to sell. <laughs> we get the brakes fixed. Gosh, let me get these keys from her. Anyways, we're loading up and headed to lunch. Yeah, we just dropped off Violet so that. Oh, right there. <laughs> we just dropped off Violet at um, Mima's house yeah. so she can play with her little cousins while the big kids have a date with mom. No. We're gonna go eat lunch at Chick fil A first, aren't we? No. Yeah. Is that your favorite place? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the potty talk. Anybody else's five year old have a potty yeah, mouth? Mommy. Anyway, hi y'all. No playing? Is it too loud? Hmm? Yeah. You don't like it when it's loud? You can sit with mom. Here's Bubba. No one too. Is it too loud? You don't like it when it's loud either, do you? Okay, it's fine. Don't be upset. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, it's okay. I know. It's okay. Hey, it's all right. It's okay. Okay, so my poor buddy is so sensitive to sound. He always has been ever since he was really little. Um, because the water park's too loud. We have. He goes the whole time and he'll cover his ears. Um, ever since he was really young, he does not like loud. Un, you know, like if he's not prepared for it, he, he well, you saw what happens. <laughs> um, when we were watching fireworks, the finale um, was really like all of a sudden just like a machine gun going off. It was like bam, 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 bam. And he did so good all the way through the fireworks, and when the last fireworks came, he burst into tears just like that. He just, he can't handle it. Um, when he was a lot younger, we would have to bring earplugs for him because he just, he's not, he does not do the loud sounds. Um, yeah, so that's that. I just thought I'd explain that. He has little heartbreaks every time there's an unexpected loud sound. So anyway, we are off to the movie. Excited? Yes. Yes. It's a prank. Yay! And are you gonna get an icy? What? One of those cold drinks? Yeah. All right. Bye bye. Yay! The movies. <laughs> All right. So movie's over. Paisley fell asleep. <laughs> Did you like the movie, Carson? It was, what, did, what did you love? <laughs> Alright, so now Rusty's off of work. Oh, and he went to go pick up Violet. He got off like, I don't know, probably like an hour and a half after um, we left her. So he was going to go take a nap with her because he gets up so early in the morning. And then, um, so the plan is, I am, it, what time is it? Seven. Seven. It is almost four o'clock and I'm going to have to leave in like 45 minutes to go have dinner with Ina Mae. Oh my God, like I don't even know. I'm so excited. I know what What's your favorite part? <laughs> um. Anyway, yeah, so I gotta go change and get ready for that. I'm so nervous. I don't know why, but I'm so excited. Um, anyway, so yeah, I will, um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film at dinner, but I'll, I'll keep you posted regardless. Okay, so I just got done picking up Violet instead. 
Um, couldn't get a hold of Rusty. I think he's at home taking a nap because when I go out to dinner tonight, he is going to have to stay up with the babies. And if he's too tired from work, then he'd just be a grouch and that wouldn't be good for anyone. So, anyway. Oh, it's always such a job to get everyone in the car. Plus, if you make it 100 degrees, it doesn't really make it pleasant. And, oh, it's exhausting. Plus, when you've got your five-year-old saying, oh, Paisley has peanut butter crackers. I want peanut butter crackers. How come I don't get peanut butter crackers? Because he chose to play outside for the free five minutes that he had at Mimos, and she didn't. She, oh, my gosh. Anyway, so then we had to go back inside, get him crackers. It's too hot for this. But everybody's happy. So I am finishing getting ready. I'm about, of course, about 10 minutes behind schedule because we got held up picking up Violet. Oh, sorry guys. Um, anyway, yeah, so I'm freaking stoked. So excited to go. I'm so nervous though. Um, I'll see y'all when I'm on my way. Ah! Okay, so I just had dinner in the same, well, let's, let's, let's be real here, okay? In the same room as Ina Mae Gaskin. She was in a room of about, oh, there's probably like 40-ish of us. Um, and she was so nice. She sat at the table with like all the midwives kind of cute um and we all just had dinner and it's kind of like a like a cocktail party kind of thing um so cool the big speaking event is tomorrow and I'll be there all day helping out get a book signed and um I don't know what I'm gonna pick though probably guide to childbirth uh, I have both spiritual midwifery and um guide to childbirth but I really really like guide to childbirth so um probably what I'll pick yeah so um wow I just feel like I don't know so many I don't know I if your husband's like really into basketball it would be like him eating dinner with Michael Jordan like or I mean if you were really into this kind of thing I mean you know how awesome this is but I just feel like I'm not even gonna cry right now first of all but I just feel like this is an experience that I just, it's really, it means a lot to me. Um, natural childbirth does, and it's something that I worked so hard for to educate myself on and to really like research it. And it just really, really meant a lot to uh, be a part of this event. Um, she means, her teachings mean a lot to a lot of people and to just be a part of, I don't know, the modern midwifery movement is really kind of cool to me. So, um, anyway, cheese ball. Yeah, that's all I got. I'll um, keep y'all updated as uh, tomorrow as it goes on. So, yeah, I'm gonna go home to my kiddos. Okay, so I just walked in the door from Ina Mae, and Rusty was here with the kids, of course. I just have to show you guys what I came home to. This is just, <laughs> it's hilarious. It's just comical. Check this out. We've got toys, a keyboard, toys, DVDs. I guarantee you Violet was over here in the DVD cabinet just tearing things up. Got all this. I don't even know if y'all can see anymore. Okay, it went dark. Just, look. I mean, just mayhem. That's me. Y'all know. I've been, this is my laundry project area, but <laughs> this is just comical. Just cute. Hey, but everybody's in bed, not screaming. Everybody's happy. It's all good.